This is Texas. So we need a little change. We need a little bit of beaches, a little bit of sand. And so we're going to the coast of Texas. And the place that we keep hearing about from everybody is this place called Galveston. And it's about an hour and a half drive from Houston. So we'll see you there. Okay, so we're coming up to the Galveston Causeway, which connects uh, Galveston, the island of Galveston, to the rest of Texas. So we're driving toward Pleasure Pier, famous pier in Galveston. Who would have thought that there would be something like this in Texas? We're gonna look around, explore a little bit, but then we're going to look for a place where we can park our van and sleep for the night. Supposedly, there are a lot of beaches where you can just park there for free overnight, and that's one of the main reasons that we came to Galveston. We're taking the van onto a free ferry to the Bolivar Peninsula on the other side because that's where we think we will find the beach camping. It took about 15 minutes to cross, and the ferry is free. Then after a quick drive, we found this side road which took us to the Bolivar Flats, where our free beach camping was waiting for us. Okay, so we couldn't find any spots in Galveston that weren't already taken. So we decided to take the ferry on the same day and there really was no wait at all and it's a free ferry, you just drive right onto it and take, it takes about 10 minutes to get across in the ferry. And then we got here to uh, the Boulevard Peninsula and we found our spot here in the Boulevard Flats. And if you look at this, it's just a huge beach with free camping. The other RVs over here, and over here, and we have all this space to ourselves. It's already almost 6 o'clock, and this is how it is, so I can't imagine a lot more people coming in here and cramping our style, so... This is Texas. What a nice surprise. Just made Madras lentil, Indian food. Not very beachy, but it'll do. We had the place all to ourselves. Most people just stayed in their RVs all day while we enjoyed ourselves on the beach.
van life has taught me that one of my favorite things to do is fall asleep and wake up on the beach. We made sure to have our coffee and a good breakfast while we had this spot on the sand. Waking up to a beautiful sunrise, and uh, it's just this is it. had to get the quintessential van life uh, backdrop here with your legs coming out of the back of your van in the beach. like I could just live here. I planned on staying for days, but then. Okay, change of plans. So we planned on staying in Texas for probably another few days because we have this free beach spot and there were some other beach beaches to go to. But all of a sudden Sandra tells me she just, let's just go to New Orleans, let's just go. Let's just get out of here. And I'm like, right now? Yeah, right now. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just, we're just gonna go. Louisiana, here we come. <laughs> 